Who people? I am from Jupiter. I am Sam. Well, you invite yourself on a camping trip. What the fuck did you expect was going to happen? I'm Jackie. Close encounters of the shitty kind. I'm Justin, and this is Extraterrestrial Visitors on Sneaker Madness. Hello, and welcome to Sneaker Madness, a podcast about bad movies by bad movie lovers. For bad movie lovers, I'm your host, Justin, with me, are always Sam Jackie. This week on the show, a MST3K classic that we are obviously doing the MST3K version of. Uh, from Mexico, I believe, Sam will correct me if I'm wrong, originally... Spain. Spain, it's Spain! Uh, España. Also known as pod people, but I'm loose on that as well, if that's actually a thing. But it, officially, it's called Extraterrestrial Vis- Visitors from 1980. Starring Trumpy Sam. Oh, streaming on Tubi. Streaming on Tubi, but if you search Pod People, you'll get. Uh, you have to search extraterrestrial visitors, otherwise you'll get the MST3K mm-hmm. uh, episode, which we'll talk about. Which one you should watch later? <laughs> um, in 1968, one Edward L. Montoro made a porno okay. called Getting Into Heaven for $13,000, and it returned about $260,000. I'm assuming that heaven is the name of a lady. Yeah, that was actually kind of, I think so, but it wasn't like, it's weird, because usually you search any porn and it's flying at you at a million miles per hour. I didn't find out much on this one. Okay. Um, because after he did that, he was then in the movie business. Mm. Yeah, the sexy just decided movie to business. go legitimate, oh, but oh, kind of because there's a lot of titty movies that he's gonna do, right? Okay. Um, and this is called Film Ventures International. We've done quite a few of it, the Film Ventures in your international movies, including Pieces, which is the other uh, Juan Piquer Simon film, the director of this film. We've done multiple uh, Juan Piquer Simon films now, or Simone. I don't. I'm not. I'm not. Like, I'm not from España. Name so another I would one. Say a lot of this wrong because we haven't done pieces for the podcast. We've talked about it, but we've never had an episode on oh. pieces. Yeah, there's a whole website. We did the, he did the yeah. rift. The rift. Okay. Okay. We did the rift. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we've done two now. We could honestly do all of his movies. Yeah. So it's yeah. fine. Um, he would get sued a lot. Hmm. Montoro, not. Uh, Simon, uh, he would get sued a lot for what is a common practice called mock busting. Now, this is just totally common practice. It's so common as dirt that there's not like a mock buster for a blockbuster. There's like four mock busters for shit that tanks. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, like all anything but asylum. You, does. you used to get sued for that. Yeah, really? Okay. Because the people really thought that accidentally going to go to the wrong movie and that they'd lost that revenue. Had they heard of Bruno Mattei? He kept it under the radar. He was treetop <laughs> flying with his ripoff shit. Hey, and we don't talk about Bruno. Yeah, Teflon. That was the other thing. Teflon that, Bruno. Tef, yeah. Bruno was ripping off the movie, not the title. Yeah. And I think yeah. that's one of the things about like these early, they're, they're not even called mockbusters yet. You just put a fucking shark on it. You say, like, he got sued for Great White because it was obviously too much like Jaws. If you watch the movie, it's going to be nothing like Jaws at all. Right, right. But he also, his number one movie is called Cruel Jaws. So, and I think in some markets, it was Jaws 4. Okay, yeah, so Bruno just ripped shit off. He just ripped shit off. He was fucking better at it. Yeah. Just, like... I guess they'd be like, we're going to sue you. And he'd be like, okay. Uh, what what, what they, do you want from me? Uh, he's in Italy have, and they, a, there's not really any. Have some of this pasta I made you. They're like, God damn. American lawyers is... come in there and start talking about suing. And the Italian lawyers are like, yeah, we've had a legal system longer than you've had a country. So piss off. <laughs> also, the pasta was good, Bruno. I've heard that that happens in a legal system in Italy. If you're from another country, they're like, our court system is so old that you shouldn't even be here. Fuck off. Yeah, right. Our country is falling apart, but we're going to look down our nose at you. <laughs> Not fix a goddamn thing. Uh, by the 80s, he had done so well with his mock busting uh, that he opened up his own... He didn't open a studio. He opened an office in Hollywood, and he was still sh- getting... Uh, distributing movies that were made elsewhere 
direct to theaters here. And at that point, he's just churning out genre pictures yep. because he can. And and so Trinities and Boot Hill. So this guy's where we can thank him for Bud Spencer and, really? and Terrence Hill. Really? Okay. Yeah. All right. Even though they're going to chum up with the um, Corbucci's eventually right, and right. give us their best with the Corbucci's. But I don't know, man. Trinity um, is supposedly. Trinity's pretty everybody fucking Everybody loves cool. Trinity. Boot Hill's good. Here's the thing. It's I've seen like. 15 of them now and i'm just like the the most tepid bud spencer terrence hill team up is still a good time mm-hmm, mm-hmm. sure is even even by themselves yeah, even by it's themselves. like uh yeah when they're one or the other they still because that bud spencer uh aladdin movie should have just been completely unviewable but it was great because bud spencer was yeah, in it also a monster bud movie much like uh extraterrestrial yeah. visitors Tragically, he will fall into bankruptcy, uh, and he, to try to avoid bankruptcy, one of the first things he did is he called Juan Picard Smith on the phone when he was in the middle of making his relatively straight-laced creature feature that was just going to be a booby alien slasher, or really a monster movie, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And we can see in this, and I've actually put some things together right now that I read about this, because there is a one large menacing monster that we only see for like one second. Mm. We never see it again in this movie. That's probably the real monster. So he cons him into trying to mock bust E.P. E.T. So he's going to just fall back on his old moves. Mm-hmm. And reluctantly, uh, Simon agrees and this is the end result of that. And it's actually one of the only movies that Juan Piquet Smith is unsatisfied with the way that it turned <laughs> out. You know, he's like, man, pieces turned out great. And I think he's right. He, right. Um, he gets what he wants to do. It's silly, but he, he knows what he's doing. And this was, this had been tampered with and it wasn't religion, really, really what he wanted to do originally. And I think we can see that. And that's where I'm like, Oh, that one monster that doesn't look completely fucking stupid is only in the movie for a second because they needed the footage because it's only an hour and 24 minutes. Mm -hmm. Um, The Rangers just disappear and never came back. That car gets repurposed. Let's be realistic here about the Rangers, okay? What Ranger goes around with a plug-in on his door? A giant poster of a plug-in it looked like a plug-in i'm not sure what it was actually supposed to represent but it looked like a plug-in yeah it was the plug-in rangers <laughs> he's the rump ranger he's gonna plug his wiener in there um <laughs> so stupid <laughs> it's so dumb so yeah like i feel like the which we'll have to talk about later mom uncle bill and tommy uh-huh some weird are, stuff are replacing the rangers in the story yeah and the the guy that plays um uh, uncle bill is probably originally cast as one of the rangers because uh that's manuel periero mm. wait they weren't married in... no that's uncle bill so we're, I, we're gonna have I mean, to save that I for later because i've got questions he's, either way he's uncle bill i just i we just yeah um so they get that whole thing gets plugged in over the top of this poachers, rangers, boobies. Okay. All goes away and we get Tommy and Trumpy instead. Mm-hmm. And it's still fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tommy had a weird voice. I'm just going to throw that out there. It was Well, he's dubbed Jackie, but uh Well, probably I know, by an but adult it was man. It was uh, off-putting. This is what a little child says. I I love animals and toys and thing with my family. That's probably. I mean, it's just an adult. That man. sounds like yeah. The voiceovers are crap. They're terrible. They're crap. Um. JP died of lung cancer in 2011. He did have a very slowing output in the 90s when the sport of tax evasion for smaller studios became kind of uh, en vogue. And so you have all your middling production companies shooting in Europe and sort of just like kind of scarfing up a lot of the tax incentives provided that they would 
have the overwhelming percentage would be Spanish labor and Spanish actors that they could shoot a movie over there and have a budget film and they bring a larger budget than uh, Simon was going to bring. So things really slowed down for him after the rift pretty much. And after the eighties got over, it was really all downhill for what he was able to output because his screens were getting snatched up and his uh, tax monies were getting snatched up. Mm -hmm. okay. He also would usually serve as his own art director and would make the creatures themselves, or at least design them and have his uh, understudies make them. So he was a very hands-on kind of guy. <laughs> and as I said, uh, Manuel Pereiro and Frank Brana, who's the, younger guy with gray hair um the poacher mm, quote unquote yeah, right right mm -hmm. poaching the, um the egg collector <laughs> poached eggs <laughs> too soon for that joke because i'm like what are they gonna fucking do with those Set up um, our fortune. <laughs> these guys are nut sacks <laughs> those guys are in like all of simon's movies okay. there's like one or two that uh, one or the other isn't in. As far as the other actors, there's just not really yeah, anybody. Yeah. Um, the guy that plays Rick. Hi. Ian Sierra. I'm Rick. He would work for five years. Okay. And then? That was it. Just 79 to 84 and he's out. Wait, you're telling me. Because he stinks. You're telling me the idiot control now didn't become a massive hit and he didn't tour with the likes of, say, Rick Springfield. The Rick and Rick on tour. Well, what happened, Justin, was that the wind was in his eyes. Yeah. And it ruined his eyesight so poorly mm. that he couldn't do stage performances because he might fall he off. He'd fall right off. Damn it. The end of Rick's career was his own. I, 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 it's idiot control now. The idiot is in control now. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Monkey in my pocket. <laughs> Monkey in his pocket. Pickle in the sand. Pickle in the sand. <laughs> Idiot control now. <laughs> Idiot, control. Idiot control now. <laughs> we got it. Yeah. So did you notice? So Shout Factory, did the, what we watched today was restored by Shout Factory, yeah. and it looked pretty good, and I could I actually mean, understand the words to that song. So uh, when we, you get there, could? we get there, we'll get there. I couldn't. Yeah, I still I wrote got it all nothing. Down. I, I all still down. got goddamn nothing. It's not good, and but it's better look, than Idiot Control now. Look good is a relative term because whoever was running the smoke machine on this goddamn set was like- the smoke machine is on crack. It is just, oh, it's supposed to be stormy, but the stormy is questionable because it's just a fog machine. Like, oh, it's not. Okay. It, it, they just, it's got to be, they don't have, a, they're not shooting with sound here, right? Because yeah, they're going to yeah. do all ADR or their version of uh -huh. it. It's just voiceovers. Right. Um, it's got to be like a truck with a fucking bonfire <laughs> in the back of it. And they're just shooting downwind from it. <laughs> Blow the fans at it. It's not moody enough we can't see yeah. a goddamn thing <laughs> <laughs> everyone's dying of inhalation so i mean yes the render looks good the digital render but uh what is on screen is uh very uh vague and dubious at all times well let's just say the exposures are decent and the sound is mostly better. intelligible better <laughs> It's better sounding, but what they're saying doesn't make any no. fucking sense. Uh, Jackie, this is your first time with Trumpy. Uh, you're not a big fan of uh, goop and bad costumes and bad makeup design. Uh, Trumpy, I would argue, is one of the worst uh, on screen costumes because I mean there's the trolls from Troll 2 they're pretty bad right uh, but there's a lot of them They uh, somebody actually tried to do, spend some time with those with zero money uh, this appears to be a burlap bag with a bunch of hair glued onto it with a elephant guy mask on so a poopa fan a poopa fan they're like yeah. poop head elephant Fur bearers. Did you like the way Trumpy looked? Well, when he was first hatched, <laughs> that was pretty gross okay, when yeah. the egg He's fell open. Egg, yeah. Because it was like, what egg has slime in it? Well, I mean, you know? eggs are pretty, pretty slimy. Gross. Have you ever drank an egg? They're they're slimy, honey. They're, no, I mean, you can run a 79 Pinto with eggs as oil because it's viscous. 
Well, I'm just saying that I've never seen a baby chick come out covered in green slime. Have you seen? So that was pretty gross. Any baby chicks come out? Period. Yeah, I've seen a baby chick come out of an egg. You have? I'm from Idaho. What were you? What? No. Yeah. No. What's wrong with you? I mean, you take the eggs and you eat them. You don't fertilize them. So, then when we first see the little tiny baby, mm-hmm. uh, Trumpy, yeah, it was it was kind of cute when it was mm. like drinking milk with the cat. Okay. You know that was that was pretty cute, mm. and then. He grows up really fast, and I'm like, ew, gross. Like, why is his head shaped like that? Because he's an extraterrestrial visitor, Jackie. Yeah, but why does he have three major points on the top of his head? Like, a point in the top, a point on either side. And it looked weird, and I didn't like it. But his trunk looked okay, because I knew it was a vacuum. And (laughs) (laughs) that was probably the only thing that, like, kind of saved it for me, was the trunk was kind of cute. Trumpy, not Trump. Trumpy. Different different guy, Jackie. The, the trunk. The trunk. Oh, trunk. Trunk, yes. Okay, sorry. Um, But then I did find it pretty funny when he drew a picture of his mom that looked nothing like <laughs> his mom and showed it to Trumpy. So and I was like, oh my God, that is Donald Trump yeah, right it there. It looked like Trump. <laughs> I'm like, what are the odds, uh, yeah. you know? Orange face, yellow bad hair. I mean, yeah, right there. It's all right there. This movie is prophetic. But I will say that the best dressed of everyone in this movie was the little kid, Tommy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> with his. Uh, I just really dug his sweater. Yeah, yeah. I just really dug his sweater. I thought it was really cool. <laughs> I thought he and had a pretty, my... pretty sharp jacket too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. And then I think the worst dressed was probably Rick because who wears leather pants on a camping he trip? Took leather pants to go camping. The guy's a dirtbag. What do you, I mean? Camping is dirty, and leather pants are sticky and sweaty and gross, and... Well, he matched it with a cable knit sweater that was white. Yeah. I mean, I guess I guess Jim Morrison walked out into the desert wearing leather pants, so, I mean, you know... And then his ball fell off. His ball I didn't, fell off. I didn't see this guy doing that many drugs, though. Yeah, that's true. That's true. He wasn't doing any drugs. He wasn't even really drinking. Yeah. And I mean, well, I guess his Jim Morrison's poetry was about as shitty, like idiot control now. Don't you see how <laughs> <laughs> that's Jim Morrison <laughs> monkey in my pocket, pickle on the table. <laughs> Ray bands back there jamming on. OK, anyways, um, let's get into this. So here's my theory on what happens is that and we, and we need to because Trumpy is the name of Trumpy. We need to name the race of what Trumpy is. Should we just call them Trunkies or will we get too confused and misinterpret each other's words like the uh, classic song Idiot Control Now? Uh, they're turd elephants. Turd elephants. Okay. The, turd ele- the race of turd elephants and they're shit walks <laughs> shit walks let's go with that shit walks the shit walks the shit walks the shit walks <laughs> from <laughs> they're they're from planet pudor and yeah. uh it explodes because is that what happens because the top minds of pudor would not be listened to by the bureaucrats and so poo l sticks his only living child into a shell of poo and shoots him across the universe right as the planet Pudor is about to explode. And he's our representative of it. He gets the yellow sun, but he's like, the yellow sun is pee-pee, I'm poo-poo, so I need a brown sun. So he doesn't actually have, like, he can't fly or do any cool Superman stuff. He can just be an annoying little monster bud. I, I, I think he's just Superman. Huh. <laughs> I can tell you that the beginning of this movie was actually from the movie Galaxy Invader. Okay, all right, sure. I can yeah, see. they just recycled that footage to make it make more sense. Yeah, but no, there is an exploding planet at the beginning of this, and a little thing I thought it was shoots a pumpkin. out of it. Why would there be a pumpkin in space, Sam? There's planets in space, not pumpkins. 
Because a pumpkin is cheap if you just paint it gray. Yeah, so it's supposed to be represent a planet. It's a planet that explodes and a little poo monster comes out of it. This is the end of Krypton. You sure? I'm 100% sure. And we get Trumpy. <laughs> but it's not like there's no Puel. They <laughs> almost seem like they're parasitic because they just have eggs inside the, in a chunk of planet. Like they survived. Their species is so hardy that it, it survived. Its reproductive system survived a planet exploding. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we'll I, I, I have some disagreements there. But anyways, back on Earth, uh, there's some hunters. No, they're not hunters. They're these poachers that we're talking about, but they're not declared to be poachers until much later because they actually don't do any freaking poaching. They're out looking for nightingale eggs because they're, it's like the guano from that Dolph Lundgren movie. They're worth a lot, but... Maybe they hatch them and sell them. I don't know. What it? I don't know what you do with nightingale eggs. They're not decorative. They just look like robin eggs. Nightingales are fucking everywhere. It's not like you got some, oh, we've cornered the market on fucking birds that are all over the goddamn place. They fly from north to south every fucking year, dipshit. They lay in eggs everywhere. Like, your car's covered in them. Yeah, that's poop, but why not collect their poop, too? I mean, it's stupid. Nightingale eggs piss off. Anyone? <laughs> Nobody has anything to say about that? Well, the old man keeps yelling, uh, get the ladder. Yeah, they got to it. this weird guy with a get weird hat on. Get the ladder. Get the ladder, Sam. The guy, the guy's name is Sam that he keeps yelling at, believe it or not. Uh, also, yeah. why do they have to go out in the middle of the night during a storm when they can't see shit? Because the rangers will catch him otherwise. Oh, the rangers who have been hired to eliminate nightingale egg thieves. Poaching. Th that's thieving. not poaching, it's thieving. Poaching eggs. Yeah. It's... I had poached eggs for breakfast today. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, so then we meet Tommy, our precocious little scamp of this movie. Tommy, let's get right into this. Tommy later is divulged to be living at a refuge with his mom and uncle bill okay before we get into the mom and uncle bill sorted details what is a refuge it's isn't that where they you can't hunt there and the animals are all safe as long as they're within the range of the refuge yeah but they they make it seem like the house is the refuge like we got to get to the refuge they've got a radio there and a little boy that and the house that has 18 bedrooms. So he's got a lot of little animals in his room. Maybe there is an animal refuge there. Of, That's what Uncle Bill runs. A, a, a bunny, some goldfish, a couple parakeets, a gerbil, a turtle, a turtle, a cat. Whatever, whatever needs rescuing, I guess. So small animals that could be bought at the uh, Petco. Those are just the ones in Tommy's room. There could be like a barn full oh, of the goddamn yeah. things, okay. right? All right, all right. Out there, they've got uh, uh, whistle pigs and uh, just a, a, a box full of mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah, he's doing God's work and nurturing the indigenous creatures' populations back to health. <laughs> Honey, I saw a squirrel today. We got to go get it. <laughs> got to save like, it. Did you did you call me honey? And he's like, yeah, oh, should I not? Oh, and yeah. the viewers are like, should he? Uh, or should he not? What's... Uh, <laughs> so we've got Tommy, Mom, and Uncle Bill. Uh -huh. What's going on here? <laughs> Where's your dad? What's, what's, uh... Where's your dad, Tommy? I don't know, Uncle Bill, but I sure wish you'd stop coming into my room at night. Maybe he's just so craggy he doesn't want to be called dad. He's just yeah. like, <laughs> just call me Uncle Bill. Get out of here, Uncle Bill. It's it's midnight. No, I'm checking on your critters. No, you're not. <laughs> I got this is a refuge. I gotta make sure all the animals are safe. Why why is your shirt off though? Because <laughs> I have to check your crabs next. He's eight, Jackie. He doesn't have any crabs. That's not a joke. <laughs> that doesn't line up at all. Yes, it does. Maybe you got him from Uncle Bill. It's his sister. That's why he's so pissed off all the time. Yeah, yeah. Is because he had this great, like, 
wilderness escape mm-hmm. where he could spend his remaining years in yes. solitude. Yeah. And his sister and her fucking kid moved in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's like, well, he does have quite the bar. He's like, uh, yeah, before, he's got like 10 guns. Before you showed up, I had this real life doll that I could pal around with and bang. But now that you guys are here, I can't do that because it's weird. So, uh, Uncle Bill, why are you telling me this at midnight? <laughs> Can you leave now? <laughs> uh, okay. All right. We'll stop short of dirty stuff for the sake of this podcast. But, uh, yeah, okay. I, I Is Uncle Bill banging Molly? I mean, is there any chance? Is there some undiscovered romance there that we haven't? Uh, there's no way to tell what's happening with their family situation here. They seem to be pretty all pretty close. Like they also seem to not like each other at all. Okay. What made you? What makes you say that? He's pissed off all the time, and well, she's because... never like, "Hey, Bill, here's your how you doing today? How was work? Work? I just fucking roll around here all day, pissed off just, at you. I'm just here at the refuge." <laughs> At the refuge. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't get it. I don't get where they're at and what they're doing at all. But anyways, Tommy awakens. He, uh, he's the sounds of thunder and his kitty are waking him up. And lights are flashing all over the place because inbound is a space turd. And mm-hmm. uh, I guess that is causing some electrical interference or something. Outside. Well, that and oh. the cat is meowing its face off because it's trapped on top of a dresser. Yeah, right. In the dark. With yes. no cage in the dark. I can't get down. Like, and it can't get down. And it's then too small. He goes up to the cat and he picks it up and he's like, stop being so naughty. <laughs> we're graced with, and we're not graced with our first. This is not how humans talk because at the very beginning, when Sam gets out of the truck, he says something to the other guy with the beard that's not Grizzly Adams, and he goes, you know Sweet F.A. about Sweet F.A. I looked it up. I guess you say you know Sweet F.A. instead of saying you know fuck all about this if you're going to have a kid's movie. You know Sweet Fuck All. Okay. Right. Sweet, sweet F.A. Sweet F.A. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to try to keep it. I'm going to forget in like 10 minutes. I've been thinking about how I would ever be able to use it, and I'm at a loss. That's sweet F. No, that's sweet A.F. Uh, yeah. 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 I don't know. Um, turns out I am able to sweet F.A. my way out of this conversation. Um, so Tommy, he's like, wow, well, I'll look into my telescope, Uncle Bill. And uh, oh, my gosh, my voice cracked. Is said the adult man? And he uh, looks into his telescope and he sees the, uh, he went into the monolith. Like, it doesn't make sense. He doesn't see a spaceship coming. He sees wavy lines with a poop at the end of it. Anybody remember that part? Okay. And then Trumpy, he he crashes on Earth. Mm -hmm. Big explosion. The poachers spot it. Tommy spots it. Everybody's like, whoa. Well, actually, just one of the poachers. The other two are like... I can't be distracted. I've got too many nightingale eggs to get after. What are you talking about? I'd be getting after these nightingale eggs a lot faster if you'd get that fucking if ladder, just Sam. just that damn ladder! <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, he's scaling a tree with a rope. Like, uh, we didn't bring a ladder. You brought rope, and you're doing just fine getting those you're damn eggs. Doing fine, and you're not really going to want to go on a ladder that high anyway. Yeah, against a tree, it's a pain in the ass. Um, so, uh, Sam's like, oh, shit, I saw that thing. I'm out of here. These guys don't believe me. So he gets in the truck and he leaves and he goes and finds the crash. And the other two are like, oh, shit, he stole our truck and our camping supplies and our whiskey. No, he did. I did. I made sure to keep mine on me. <laughs> uh, but, uh, all their food and their chicks or whatever else is in the truck. I don't know. Yeah. This is the first part of, uh, where the. Frank Brana Burt character is like, oh, it looks like we're just going to have to sleep out here. And the other guy's like, no, that sucks. And he's like, oh, you've done this before. It's fine. It's fine. The other guy's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> and he's like, shut up. It's fine. My Jim Croce A-tracks were in that truck. Yeah. He's really the 
Bert's really an outdoorsman. He's like, oh, I like it this way better. This is great. I got my whiskey on me. I'm good. <laughs> fire? I don't need to set a fire. I got a little, little fire right here. A little JD, yeah. you know? <laughs> I, got, I got some Jim Beam. I got 25 rounds. I'm good. <laughs> Who wants squirrel? Um, <laughs> they shoot a fucking deer later, so. Maybe. I okay. There's a piece of meat even later that could only yeah, come from a deer. Yes. Um, I question much of the meat in this movie. Um, anyways, so Sam, he enters this cave. Like, it's really weird because you see, like, the cocoon of the, the ship crash, and it looks very much like everything else, Invasion of the Body Snatchers or any other freaking movie uh, where the alien crashes. Even... Uh, Day of the Earth's Seal, I think. The blob definitely has this shot, but it's just a hole in the ground with a red light in it, right? And yeah. uh, there's glowing, throbbing stuff inside of it. But then when Sam goes into it, it's like the damn TARDIS. He's in a freaking cavern system. Yeah. like It's really big in there. It curved inside of the Earth while it was crashing? Huh. Yeah. That's weird. And then he finds eggs, and he's like, I hate eggs. <laughs> well, she finds eggs and he's like, we're looking for eggs. These eggs are used. What's in here? And he breaks it. And then he looks at it. And he's like, oh, I don't know what that is. I hate it. And he starts breaking all the other eggs. And I would be like, why would you do that? But I actually feel like 75% of people on earth just do shit like this all the time. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Back at the poachers camp, they're like, so when we showed up today why did you bring the guy that is notoriously an egg hater <laughs> we're getting eggs and he brought the one guy in town that can't see eggs without smashing them uh he was cheap yeah, that's a good point they he had start. a truck yeah and, well, no that's not his truck no that's bert's truck that's he bert's was driving truck. yeah it's him his jim croce e-track jackie sam doesn't have a job he was just hanging out by home depot and they were like, hey, there's a guy who can help us get eggs. I'll do it. Yeah. Justin, you, you really should stop talking about our co-host like that. I mean, he does have a real job. You know, he doesn't just hang out at the Home Depot. I, I would imagine that how it went down is that they were just drinking heavily at the <laughs> tavern that's uh, in the nearest right. town. And they're like, oh, I'm tuned up. Let's go do some egg poaching. And they were drinking with this guy. He's like, can I go too? And they're like, as long as you fucking... Handle the ladder, Sam. So I can handle the ladder. Oh. And then he doesn't fucking handle the ladder at any fucking point. And you're like, why did we bring this guy? And uh, do you hate eggs? And he's like, <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, no. What? No. <laughs> but they didn't think to ask that, because why would you ask that? <laughs> they have to ask that of everybody. It's their job. It's just so you know. This guy, Sam, on the internet says 70% of people would just smash eggs if they saw him. Are you one of the 70%? I'm not saying smash eggs. I'm just saying, like, go, I don't know what this is. Kill it. <laughs> I'm that way, Sam. Eggs. I see some rando bug. I'm killing that son of a bitch. Although, we and Justin were in the pool the other day, and there was this golden beetle looking thing. It was like a ladybug, but it was like metallic gold. Yeah, it was the scarab that unlocks the treasure, Jackie. Yeah, it was so cool. I actually saved it. It was probably a highly invasive species and you've doomed your state to an in, in, a complete infestation. To Wait, doomed it to what? An infestation? Sam. Of bugs? Of, it's, it's, it's bug central it's down bug, there? It's buggy. It's already buggy. Like, Go ahead, devastate our bug population, please. If I have to pick up another cicada's corpse off my porch, then chuck it because they're freaking huge. Uh, it's like it's like picking up a damn dinosaur. It's so gross. And they're like brittle. They they're all crumbly. Blah, 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 blah. Fuck bugs. Unless they're cool. <laughs> I mean, at least you identify that they were bugs, right? Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, it's a bug. There you go. Um. So he smashes up all these eggs, like all of them. So the the what are we calling them again? The shitty shit walks. Shit walks. Yeah, shit walks. Um, not only did they send a representative of their species, the son of their most brilliant scientist, uh, they sent the species. They 
they all died in an explosion. And so they said, let's send Trumpy and some eggs. And Trumpy will repopulate the species on another planet and we can go continue on. No, they what are you said talking about? Not Trumpy. Trumpy. Got Trumpy's hatched. in an egg. Yeah, whatever. Still. Okay, so Trumpy's one of the eggs. So he's okay. Well, let's let's, let's send some eggs. God damn it! And and maybe one of them will survive, and it'll become Trumpy, and he can fly around and pick up on Lois Lane or something. I don't know. Uh, well, I really like this opening shot though, where the the eggs start coming out of the pumpkin. I'm not there yet. They're... I'm not there yet. So he said they the whole species relies on this plan, and Sam comes in and bashes it with the hammer. Yep, don't come to Earth. <laughs> I'm telling you, don't. Look how many aliens are landing here because they saw our TV. Because they watch, they watch Trumpy and they know what happens. <laughs> They're like, don't go there. The guy from The Apprentice is now running a country. <laughs> it sucks. It sucks there. Just skip over it. <clears throat> okay, Jackie. Now, now when they when they come out, what happens? They look like chicken eggs. Okay. But then later You just said that they didn't look like chicken eggs. They were all slimy. No, they they come out of the pumpkin. They're slimy, but they're chicken eggs, right? Okay. And then by the time that Tommy finds one or weird hat guy, they're huge. And they've been spread out like somebody, you know, like the monster that came with them is like, "Okay, we're going to put you guys in Alphabetical order. They look eerily like the pods in Alien with red light instead of green. Yes. Yeah. Yep. yep they sure do. Um, okay. So then I guess there's a big shit walk who's alive and yeah. smashes his face. Sort of. Because whenever somebody, but somebody dies in this movie, they just get pushed and then they die from it. But like, then uh, after they're dead for a while... The constellation that's the seven points of uh, reference to the home world shows up. Which just looks like the Big Dipper, right? No, it's no. just some dots. Okay. Right. It's just stars in a row on their forehead and kind of like this wave. And then their eyes are like this metallic kind of marble looking things so you get bonked so hard oh no the trumpy or the the shit walk does kind of touch his face later and then he gets so you have they have to touch your face too and is it like like et phone home is is it like help us get here dead yeah. guy <laughs> well, send us back to our planet that just blew up well, yeah right it blew up you can't you don't have a home this is your future Guys, as evidenced by the, the end of the, so I I don't get that like, do I, if I was to kill a guy like draw a picture of Idaho on his forehead and be like stab him right where Boise would be, like that's where I'm from. Now you know. You'll know us by the trail of our dead guys with maps on their heads. Yeah, I kind of wondered about this, and I think I'm gonna burn this question since okay. we're talking about it. Like. It never pays off, right? Like, never. it's not like they come uh, back to life. No. They don't turn into shit walks. Nope. nope. It's just a calling card saying, yeah. hey, I murdered this person. Yeah. And, and I'm proud of it. And this is it. where I'm from. There's a nice little river right up here. You can go fishing right there on that guy's, like, where that mole is. It's a great fishing spot. Burgers. Do you think they're dead? Or they're just, like, they're now dead. radio towers they're... for this? Bi what do you mean they're radio towers? Because they don't look dead. Their eyes are open and uh -huh. they've got light coming out of their head. Okay. That is uh, atypical to death. Yeah. for I'm familiar. With, you know. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen that. They just look like they're in stasis mm. and they're glowing. So I'm like, maybe this is they're setting up radio towers to phone home with dead people hmm. or people that are almost, I don't know. Because none of them get hit hard enough to No, die. nobody's dead. Nobody is not dead from being sort of bonked or slapped or whatever also why would these things bonk people as we'll later find out they have amazingly gene gray yeah. powerful telekinesis yeah. oh, shit okay all right let's move on um all right so uh the other two they're like uh it's getting weird out here the poachers let's get out of here so they bail um they're trying to get out of the woods um and tommy He's like, ooh, bugs. I love bugs. They're in my cereal. Uh, I've collected them out of this very old box of Frosted Flakes that had a centipede in it. Mom, can I go look for some more bugs? 
Well, Uncle Bill comes up and he's like, he, he tells Uncle Bill the uh, proper scientific name derived from Latin of the centipede. And he's like, that's a centipede where I come from, you little shit. Stop learning biology and Latin. But it's a, it's you. a Maliopolis Otopitos. Get dumber, goddammit. This is the <laughs> woods. <laughs> but I don't want to, Uncle Bill. Are you my real uncle or my dad? So he, Billy, Tommy, sorry. Uh, he goes outside to go look for some more bugs. And then this is one thing I didn't notice about this movie the first time we saw it, Sam, is we cut to the studio where Rick is trying to launch his illustrious movie career, music career so he can go tour yeah. on tour with Rick Springfield, uh, the Rick and Rick. And uh, there's two takes. Like, he barely makes it into idiot control now, and he's like, nope, it stinks. And they stop. And so Jackie and I were like, oh, no. We, she doesn't get to see they cut it. They cut it, idiot control now. But he actually goes through two takes. Yeah. Like, this guy is really trying to, I don't know. He's... Fuck He's up been there for they've been there for a week with him pissing and moaning over yes. this cut. Yeah. So take two, we finally get idiot control now in full. Jackie, before I, Sam reveals the words to uh, what where, where he's going to go, other than the wind gets in his eyes, did, were you able to understand anything? No. In fact, I thought that they were saying Annie's in control now. And he's in control now. I think it's a song. I, I, my best guess is it's a song about like uh, he's a highway star. He's got a bitching car and he's burning rubber and the wind's in his eyes. He's a dick bag. Get a, get a windshield, dude. Yeah, that's what he says. The wind's in my eyes, and then the chorus is "Hear the engines roar now." Hear the engines roar now. Oh my god, that sucks. Times five, wheels on fire, burning rubber tires. <laughs> So the wheels are on fire, but the tire, the tires are being burnt from the wheels being on fire, not from you burning out. Yep. Don't do that. Don't light your wheels on fire. It sounds like he's actually got a brake problem and he should get that checked out. <laughs> I had to stop it and just go back and watch Joel do it again because it's so fucking funny. It's hilarious. Oh, my God. And then an idiot control now ends, and uh, he's still not happy with it. No, it stinks. It stinks. And uh, then we get the guy with the I'm a virgin shirt. What's this guy's deal? Is it on purpose? Like, who would wear that shirt? <laughs> is it for comedy? Or is like that? Was it? Is he an He's incel? pandering that low bang me like there's always that guy in the movie like you know during the 70s oh uh, yeah i'm really horny but i still have a virgin uh so I'm uh he was a not a butt virgin he was a pussy virgin okay i'm saying i think he was a homosexual uh okay he does say something he like he he's fussier than me or something like that. Yeah. So why would he say he's a virgin? Because he's not if he's had the butt sex. I he's don't gay. know. Okay. I don't know if that. Tracks I don't know. Him. He's just a creeper. It's, he's it's just a creepy. creepy it's a creepy ass shirt, dude. Don't don't wear a shirt that says I'm a virgin. Just let's just let's just leave your sexual history out of open public discussions, shall we? Uh, nobody needs to wear a shirt that says, um, "Show me that." I have hemorrhoids. Uh, no, show me that. <laughs> Yeah, nobody needs to wear that shirt, but I was going to say, keep it on the sexual thing, Jackie says. Nobody needs to see a shirt that says, show me that butthole. Uh, nobody needs to wear a shirt that says, I'm a virgin. Like, let's just keep it, let's just keep it classy. America. Yeah, you think that you wear a t-shirt that has your full name and then underneath it in smaller lettering, ass slayer. <laughs> see how well it goes. Uh, okay. So Rick yell is yelling at everybody. He's just a real dick during this whole thing. Like, Sharon, you were late. But I, I mean, girlfriend, don't you love me? No. I mean, yeah, because I have to say that. But uh, you suck, Sharon. 
but you suck. No, you suck more. And then Adrian Brody shows up. I thought that was weird that uh, he was in this movie. His career really took a weird curve <laughs> from extraterrestrial visitors to winning an Oscar for the piano. I mean, man, what an arc. This guy is Adrian Brody, right? They are twins. Has to be Adrian Brody's dad. Uh, not really, what? no. What? No. What? No. no. What? No. Get out. T is... Look it up. It's Adrian Brody's dad. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you guys are, you guys are going to eat crow because that's who it is. I think his name is Emilio Linder. And yeah. he doesn't really. Yeah. Well, that's Adrian Brody's actually Bill Linder, Sam. He had to, you can't go into Hollywood and be like, I'm going to win an Oscar with a name like Bill Linder. He had to change his name to Adrian Brody. So the chicks would like it. Why didn't you just get an I'm a virgin t-shirt? Uh... Uh, no. We've already established that it needs to have his full yeah, first right, and last right, name yeah. and butt slayer. Yeah, Bill Linder, virgin, wouldn't work, Sam. So he changed it to Adrian Brody, ass slayer. See, this is just simple history. Got to fill in some holes here. Anyways, so uh, Brian, Adrian Brody, uh, he's pals with them. And they're all going out, taking the gals out to the woods in, uh, I'm assuming, Brian's motorhome. This motorhome is large enough to have the worst weekend ever. Yeah. If there's six of you. There's too many chicks. Because you've got either the lamest party where two people have sex in a room mm -hmm. full of people who are mm -hmm. awake. Yep. Or an orgy pile in a tight space. Neither of which sound appealing. I don't see orgy pile happening here because Sharon is not down with the orgy pile. Tracy is definitely down with the orgy pile. Uh, yeah. Kathy seems like she's out. Brian's girlfriend. And then the rando, Laura, um, she's only there to bang Rick because uh, he she's a groupie uh, for Rick. But, but if he was like, I want to have an orgy pile, she'd agree to it. Uh, she would, yeah, but she's she, a, there's no way that Sharon she's would. She's a dipshit. There's no way that Sharon would. And also the other, yeah, no, this is a bad equation. There's no way these people are going to have fun. Well, and you know what's shit is that like Nancy is that her name? Who the groupie? The, the Laura. The groupie Laura, shows up. Laura. She's Laura. She's in. She's in the camper, right? Mm -hmm. And they open the door, and she's like, "Rick," ah! and then the girlfriend Sharon is like, "I don't fucking think so." Mm. And then the friend has to go over and say, "You know what? It's just part of the rock and roll lifestyle." Sharon. Brian. Brian's like, hey, look, yeah. he kisses ladies over here, and he kisses ladies over here, and that's just too, you know, that's part of the thing. So, Sharon, why don't you get cool with it? Why is Brian doing this? Because Rick obviously hates Sharon. He He's like screaming it. at her in the yeah. studio. Right. He doesn't want anything to do yeah. with her most of the time. And then Brian's like, no, you guys got to stay together. He loves you. He, he just, loves you. He's crazy about he you. Hey, making out with chicks is just kind of as bad, yeah, but I mean, that doesn't mean he doesn't love you. He, what do you want to do? Not have his rock star career take off, Sharon? You want to be the guy that holds him back from the Rick and Rick tour? He's got to bang, ladies, or the record producers are going to be like, look, Idiot Control now isn't a very good song, but you are banging <laughs> a lot of ladies, so we're going to go ahead and sign you. You're going to yeah. throw this How all to the dogs, Sharon. How many of the backup slimmers, singers are you nailing? One, how many are there? Three, decent percentage you're in. Yeah, you're you're gonna make it. What's the song called? We're, idiot control now. Okay, idiot control uh, now. It's close enough. <laughs> um, also, I banged your daughter because that's who the other girl. What's her name? Laura. Laura. Because he's like, why are you doing this, Rick? You fucking idiot! Why are you bringing her? He's like, pretty sure that the she's da the daughter of a person who owns this place. Yeah, so I'm gonna. And then bang Brian it. doesn't go. Well, then don't bang her. Yeah, right. Oh, wait, no. You're General's sure. daughter? Come on now. Wait, I thought I was wearing the shirt that said ass slayer, but it seems to be you, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rick, Rick, ass slayer, but only because he has to, to be famous. <laughs> just, <laughs> comma, Sharon. <laughs> I just nailed so many chicks to get, to get idiot control now on the charts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they're they're all going out uh, to go camping. Uh, meanwhile, Tommy's on a weekend bug hunt, and he finds the cave, and uh, uh, he goes looking in. He finds one of the eggs, and it's dead. 
And uh, then he finds the dead dude, dead Sam, with the lights on his forehead. And he's like, ah, but he's like not ah enough to drop the egg he has stolen because he is also an egg poacher. Tommy belongs in jail. But those aren't nightingale eggs, so he's oh, probably yeah. okay with They're the rangers. Non-protected egg species. You can steal you can steal those eggs, but you can't take the nightingale eggs. Tommy. So uh Team Rick, they uh they're all driving up and they're listening to his crappy music, and we get another one of his songs, and I can't I mean it's completely unremarkable. Well, Jackie's shaking oh, her head. Not to mention that uh Rick is sitting in the co-pilot seat. There's no co-pilot with seat. Laura. She's sitting in the passenger seat with Laura. He's crammed himself into the front with Laura and Brian. 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 But there. Oh, but anybody who's ever driven driven a motorhome knows that there's only two seats in the front. Yeah, they're captain's there's chairs. The passenger seat and the driver's seat. But he has managed to shove her over and. Get his ass in the front with them. I don't think or he's he... riding on the console like a dickhead. Yeah, no, he's saddling the uh, the oh, what are the, I, it's actually called the saddle. I think the engine compartment was... that comes out. The... Well, there's a little console on top of that, though. No, 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 not not where he's his butt would be. That's a console that's in uh, against the dash. He's riding that saddle like like he's fucking slim pickings. Woo! It's the uh, first uh, heated seat. Is the transmission. <laughs> It's warm. It's warm. Like I think my I think I'm going to have to go to the burn center. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, where the hell are we? Are we? Uh, Tommy finds the egg. Uh, Rick is uh, at it again in the woods. They're like, let's go get some uh, get some firewood. And and Laura's like, oh yeah. Well, how about you find some wood to put in me? And he's like, uh, I don't get it. I'm Rick. And so she's like, kiss me. That's so they make out. And then Sharon's like, Rick, what are you doing? <laughs> like, Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what he's like. Like a little kid. Nothing. <laughs> don't come over here. <laughs> get wood. <clears throat> it's fine. It's fine. You don't need help. And then he picks up all his wood, and Jackie made the observation that Laura, like, her help is she picks up one stick. <laughs> yeah, that's that checks out. I see her, and I'm like, hey. She's going above and beyond, really, for him at that point. Yeah. Personality-wise. So back at camp. The, oh, go ahead. Yeah, who's the one that, what is her name that is always telling everybody that she's homely? Is that Kathy? Tracy. 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 Yeah, but she still wants to bang it's, everybody. Yeah, she wants to get down. Gary fucked that up earlier, but um, she's good at cooking, as evidenced by their rubber steaks that they can just hold with their hands. <laughs> right. Nothing says a good steak. <laughs> you can just hold it up and just Fling it about. chew it right off of there. <laughs> Are you sure that was a steak, or was that burnt squirrel? <laughs> uh, you'll never know. <laughs> and then Laura's like, I know good food because my mom used to cook, and I like food. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> These are good it was steaks. Like one of the, it was like one of the best lines ever. My mom told me to eat. Yeah, so I'm I'm a gourmet. <laughs> so I mean, honestly, you probably could have put a hot dog. No, you could not have. Not with not with Laura. She would she would get confused and be like, "Do I stick this up my vagina?" Like I stuck, no, you eat that. Like I stuck Rick's penis on my vagina out in the woods when we were collecting food. Oops, was I not supposed to say that right now? Because Sharon might get pissed off, and then Rick won't make out with me anymore. And Sharon <laughs> does get pissed off, and she throws water in her face. That I'm assuming it came out of a coffee cup, so it was probably boiling vodka. Yeah, and uh, she's burned. Like ah, oh, my flesh yeah. is coming off in chunks, and she runs into the woods. And then Brian and Kathy are like, oh, it's a good dinner. All right, well, we're going to go turn it in the RV. And they're like, oh, okay, were we coming too? And they're like, you didn't bring tents? That sucks. <laughs> There's enough room in here for two people, so uh, try not to die out there. <laughs> the whole, if this van's a rocket, you know, the saying, guys, this is almost the 70s. Uh. Meanwhile, Laura's running through the woods going, ah, my face, ah. And then she's grabbed by Grizzly Adams poacher 
And it's a uh, guy on a buffalo. It's implied that he's like, oh, look at this bird that I caught, that he's going to do naughty things to her. But she just squirrels away and runs off. And his partner's like, dude, what are you doing? What are you doing, jackass? We got to get her. We're, we're already Why? on the hook for poaching. You're going to go for rape. Look. This poaching racket is uh, a life sentence if you're caught, so you might as well add some rapins on to the top of it. For nightingale eggs, this is a life... Yeah, yeah, don't worry about that part. So, yeah, he's like, what are you doing, jackass? And then he looks up. I think this guy's name is Matt. Yeah, okay. And he's like, well, she can't get anywhere. There's only woods out there. Come yeah. on. And yeah. he's like, um, no. Clearly, she got here from somewhere. From somewhere. Probably not by herself where she's wearing that outfit. Uh, she's clearly driven here by... Uh, maybe we should uh, not dive onto her and rape her. I'm just saying. But it's too late. Yeah. She has ran herself straight off of a cliff. and Well, before she runs off the cliff, they're barreling after her. And Matt's like, God, she's really fast. This sucks. And then Bert <laughs> goes, you're a jerk. <laughs> he does say that. <laughs> Why am I with you? <laughs> this is the last time I go poaching after I go to the bar. So then Tr Trumpy touches her head and uh, he or not. It's not Trumpy. Trumpy. OK, fine. The shit, the shit, shit walk. walk touches no, her head. This is the Sasquatch alien monster because you see his face in that smoke. And it is a very menacing, not trunked face. It's like a big monster. I couldn't see this shit. one is totally different. And you only see his hand and he's super tall. OK, so Squatch touches her. Yeah. OK, like uh, uh, maybe it's Harry from it's Space Squatch, though, because her, she gets the constellation on her head. So it had to be Space Squatch because the hmm. Trumpy's overlord is Space Squatch. OK. Oh, or the okay. shit. The shit walks. It's a very Ewok. <sighs> Wookie situation happening here. The shit walks and the space squatches. I just, every time you say shit walk, I'm just like, Carla, you got to turn, yeah. I got to go to the boop, the boop, 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 brown. Okay. So, Watch out so, so maybe They're in the sewer. So let's, <laughs> let's, uh. Shitty, shitty snakes, they're in the sewer. Let's uh, let's say the Trumpies belong to uh, the shit walks, and then this big monster is a Pubaka. Pubaka. <laughs> Pubaka. <laughs> oh. Uh. That would be like. <laughs> plunk, plunk. <laughs> That's what. Yub nub is Ewok for plunk plunk. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, so Rick and Brian, they run up and find her, and they're like, wow, she looks like she's fallen into a ravine. Let's pick her up and carry her very <laughs> precariously through the woods. What do we do? Shake her head and the base of her spine. Yeah, just get all those crashed bones from falling down, just get those vital organs just punctured, 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 punctured. Yep. Okay, she's a blood bag. All right. So They uh, just toss her like a potato sack onto the couch in the RV. Yeah, right. And then they pour whiskey on her face. Here, this will help. <laughs> they didn't bring any whiskey. They're too square. I saw nothing but rubber steaks. No, they give her whiskey. They put it oh, on Oh, good. Like, okay. here, have her drink this. But she's unconscious, so they just pour whiskey all over her face. That didn't do anything. You, no it, shit. <laughs> nobody in this RV has gone to medical school. <laughs> so what happened? She fell and she's probably broken her body in several places. Oh, well, I've got whiskey for that. <laughs> Open her mouth. Glug, 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 glug. There we go. All better. And as she pukes up the whiskey that's poured into her like a freaking siphon, uh, the rib just shatters right into her freaking kidney. Oh, and the blood comes out. She's freaking spray hose like Evil Dead. And they're like, mm -hmm. well, I thought the whiskey was going to work. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that these nutsacks would have a beer bong. 
Do you know what that is? No, it's a funnel no, with I know. A really oh my long god! Never, no, I've never. I've okay. never. are you fucking kidding me? They they probably were like, okay, it's not getting in. We're gonna have to beer bonger. These guys aren't cool Somebody enough to have a beer bong. They're not Jackie. cool enough to have no. a beer bong. And people that have beer bongs aren't cool, Jackie. But these guys are less than that cool. <laughs> We were not cool many years ago. Right now, somebody's t- we hanging out with their beer bong like, oh. <laughs> if you're under 27, you're cool. <laughs> Once you hit 30, you really got to give that shit up. But, but old, yep, old, it's, it's just too hard to get up old, the next day. Oh, bongy. I'm not cool with my best friend, bongy. No, you're not, pal. Dear listener. And then, you know, you're young and you're stupid, so you don't think about how many other people have put their lips Oh, you don't care about that shit. Um, You're going to put your bong. lips on a lot weirder shit later than the beer bong, Jackie. Yeah. Not you. I'm saying after you beer bong, you're going to... After you beer bong, are, yeah. your lips are generally going to be on some woman's butt that you don't yeah. know. Yeah. She looked great an hour ago, but not so much now. She was also the only one at the party that would talk to you. Womp, womp. <laughs> Oh no, she's a what? What was the one of the the one that keeps wanting to get banged? That's Tracy. Ugly. Yeah. Tracy. Yeah. She's a Tracy. Yeah. Putting your lips all over Tracy's body later, and she's gonna be like, "Well, what are we gonna do now for breakfast?" You're like, Ugh. "How did I get here?" After you beer bonged, I dragged you into this room that is yours and took advantage of you. Do you want to hang out? Beer today? bongs. Do you want to? Do you want to get some? breakfast and then maybe we could watch a movie and then maybe you can meet my parents after that oh god tracy <laughs> again the get best See, part I... about beer bongs and the age that you are when you beer bong mm-hmm. is you can always throw the work curveball excuse because a young person might have to work on sunday mm-hmm. right you can always throw that one out of, well i gotta work and then you just leave we had a you just get in your my car at your own house <laughs> and you drive around the corner. Like you go to the gas station, you get a Gatorade, you drink it in the car, uh-huh, uh-huh. and then you call the other person that lives there and go, "Is she gone yet?" <laughs> and they're like, "No," and now she's talking to me. <laughs> See, and my thing was, is I always tried to like. Because I don't know what my thing is, but I get really, really fucking hammered, right? And then no way. I would wake up like super early at like four or five in the morning, and I would try to be as quiet as possible and just sneak out. That's called the walk of shame. Yeah. That's yeah. totally a thing, yeah. too. Yeah. I was like, I don't I don't want to see you again. And like, because you wake up and you're like, oh, fuck, you were so much better looking last night. And like, today... God damn it. Please don't see me on campus. Like, I just, I got to get out of here. Well, back to the beer bongs. We had this beer bong that uh, had a valve on it. So it was pretty handy. But the valve was all the way, uh, like, it was controlled at the top of the beer bong. And so, you know, hey, dude, beer bong, get down on your knees. I'll I'll pour it for you. So you pour it all up, and they'd be, like, sort of ready. And then you'd release the valve, and it'd mostly just spray all over their face. (laughs) Yep. Suck it down, bro. Then they just have beer suds on their face. Yeah. I hated that beer bong so fucking bad. (laughs) One time, our friend Shelby, I had three Milwaukee's best ice in there, which is bad enough on its fucking (laughs) own, right? right? And his ass dumped a pint of fucking Jose Cuervo on the back end of it. And I didn't notice it until it was all down. And then he's like, you just drank this. And I'm like, (laughs) and I went into Dave's backyard and I just spun around in circles. I was a vomit sprinkler. Oh, my God. I was I was I was projectile vomiting like eight feet. Yeah. But why were you churning around in circles? (laughs) Because I was. Three Milwaukee's best ice. And a pint of Jose Cuervo, I was about to fall over. That's what I was doing to stay up. It was I was out of control. Spin to I was, she was like stay a pinata. Okay. Yeah, I was like a fighter jet in a flat spin. <laughs> Going down. Eject, eject. We're just lucky I made it out that door. No, I didn't say did project. You guys ever, I said eject. Did Did you guys uh, ever play the one hundred club? Sure, yes. Are we going to move on from this? We got to talk about the movie. Yeah, you got to talk about the movie. Oh, again. okay. All right. So, Sorry. This uh, movie was They decide that they're going to go to the refuge. No, it's not slow. They got to go to the refuge and uh, get, uh, the refuge of Black Butte for the foe. So uh, that's Tommy's house. Meanwhile, Tommy's making best friends with this fucking egg. 
and like, oh, you're my only friend, Egg. Uh, sleep in bed with, sleep in bed with me. The, Meanwhile, the cat's on the dresser yeah. going, "Fuck you, yeah. Tommy." <laughs> and the sheets are like, "Fuck off, that's gross." You would you put just like a dirt? You just like even if it's not an egg with aliens in it, you like found this rock mm. that you think is cool out in the woods, and you're like, "I'm gonna sleep with this." I'm pretty sure my son would because he is currently moving rocks as punishment uh, in the hot sun, and he fought the law in the law one, which is me, and. Uh, he keeps like grabbing these rocks. They're just shitty fucking gravel rocks. He's like, "Look at this treasure that I found, Dad." And I'm oh. like, "It's a geode." And I'm like, "There's no. Fuck- it's a freaking piece of crap rock." <laughs> and he's like, "My favorite. He's got a pile the- of them, and they're like big rocks." I'm like, "You're not yeah, taking those inside. There's no place to put them. Stop it." Rocks. My favorite is when he shows you the fossils. Yeah, right. <laughs> the fossils uh, of the rocks. Yeah, sure. I sleep with it at night. I love it. I don't know. Kids are dumb, Sam. I wouldn't put it past them. Yeah. All right. So the Rickers, they arrive. And uh, uh, dad, dad's like, oh, God damn it. Door. Not dad. Uncle Bill. Uncle Bill's like, oh, people at the door. Rick's like, you got to help us. This lady fell off a cliff. Uh, get on out of here. I'm not helping you, sons of bitches. He's got a goddamn shotgun. Molly, the mom comes out. She's like, who is it? Uh, some kid's. They're being jokers. And <laughs> she opens the door and he's like, she's like, no, that these people need help. Not on my watch. I fucking hate goddamn people. Yeah. Uncle Bill. Yeah. If they, if the, it would have been a dog that fell off the ravine into the ravine, uh-huh. he would have let them in immediately. A dog. M- maybe. Uncle I Bill? don't know. Yeah. He's in a refuge. He likes animals. He just doesn't like people. Oh, yeah, like, you yeah. guys got to wait out yeah, there. Gotta, I'll yeah. take care of the dog. He's a though. collector of animals. I think. Maybe, maybe I I am leaning towards that being his sister and her kid though now because they just he's so grumpy, and like they get in there and then, this is great in here and he's like yeah this is my bitchin bar and gun room and it had a seven room masturbatorium attached to it uh, but then my sister and kid moved yeah, in so yeah. I just hang out in here and drink outside I've got all sorts of animals this is a refuge bears. Parakeets. Barakeets. You ever heard of one of those? <laughs> it's a bear parakeet. They're dangerous. We got some goats. Goats. But goats aren't indigenous here. They eat the grass. Shut up. Yep. Yeah, and the poop. Okay. Uh, so, uh, phone's dead. They can't call out. Tommy's like, oh, we got company. Thank God, maybe they can keep Uncle Bill away from me. Uh, oh, hey, Forest Ranger Station's nearby. Let's go try that. Oh, uh, the roads are all closed and shitty right now. You're not going anywhere. Well, we just drove up in our motorhome, and it seems like they're fine. No, nope, roads are real bad. Can't go anywhere. Oh, God damn it. The, the trees are down. And Why would you know, Uncle Bill? Uh, mm, I want you guys to stay with me because I'm lonely. I don't know. That would Uncle Bill know that the roads are all crappy. He's got a CB. He's, no, the CB is and down. He, he lives there. No, the CB's never down. It's fucking it ham is, radio. If you have it, power, it works. No, not when Trumpies, the Trumpies are around the shit walks because later they turn on the TV and the TV doesn't work. It's just static. And one of them's like, that the radio just doesn't work like either. The radio. It's just like the radio. The CB doesn't work. Uncle Bill knows shit. He wants them to be there. I'm so lonely. <laughs> he's like, somebody. Pay attention to this fucking kid. Does anybody else notice that nobody pays attention to little Tommy? Like, not at all. Go to your room at all. Tommy. Tommy is a latchkey kid for sure. <laughs> so he does a head count. That's why all of a sudden he's more receptive. His sister's like, "Why are you letting him in now?" And he's like, "I did a head count. Two dudes, four chicks. One of them can't move. My odds are high." <laughs> I'm going for the one that can't move. It reminds me of my real life girl doll that you took uh, away from me, Molly. You and your you just inflates her and puts her in the corner and like draws little tears on her. Like <laughs> she's jealous of it or something. <laughs> How could you do this to me, Uncle Billy? <laughs> oh my god! All right, so the egg is hatched. It's now Trumpy time. Trumpy is out. And oh, he's so cute too when he's drinking the milk with the cat. Just that was the best part. 
Well, the look at the rabbit in the okay. background. Well, outside, the poachers are out looking around for shit or something, or they're hanging out. And one of the shit walks, I guess the only other shit walk, I don't know, maybe because uh, there's Pubaka as well, I guess. There's Pubaka, one shit walk that's been, sh- has he been, sh- has this one been shot by an arrow yet? Or he's about, about to get about shot to by an arrow. Okay. Yeah. He's like, yeah. that's the only way you can tell him apart. I want some, I want some egg or some uh, uh, deer and uh, he's about to get food and they try to net him, but he's too strong and he bonks the other guy. I Bert. guess he's dead. Bert's dead because no, he got Bert, bonked. Is Bert dead? You never see. Do we him ever again. see Bert again? No, we never see him again. But, oh my god, the bonking to death. He just gets bonked and he's dead. And then uh, this shitwalk chases the uh, grimy guy to uh, the cabin, which we find out later. He just runs him down in the cave, and then all of a sudden he's in a fucking cabin. But the he gets him one time in the chest with an arrow, and it doesn't do anything. And you say you can tell the two, but because of the arrow, I didn't. Has he still got it? Yeah, Trumpy Trumpy has no arrow sticking out of him. I didn't notice the arrow later. Well, I I think that Trumpy, the reason that they give him a coat later is so that you can tell him apart from the other shit walk. Because I'm pretty sure there's only one actual shit walk and they're just using it in different scenes. No, they have, they they meet each other later. There's two shit walks. Costumes. Yeah. No, okay. But there's only one Pubaka. Yeah. So Trumpy's sucking down all this milk. And all this food, he's eating everything up his snoot. And Molly, the mom, comes up and she's like, Hey, Bill or Tommy, how's things going in there? Are you cleaning your room? And he's like, Don't come in here, mom. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, 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 what's my pants are down? Don't come in here. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go check on the guests that we have. Um, you stay there. Oh my god, she's dead too. Do they do that or do they just go? Because the first time that they go in on her, they just cover her face. She's dead. They're like, oh, no. Molly goes and checks on her. She's dead. Like, she gives gross out face like, oh. No. Yeah, Kathy, but that's the thing. Kathy is, that she- is in the room with them, with her. She's fallen asleep. She wakes up. She thinks, oh, my God, it, she's dead. And then she runs down. To the rest of the group that's having breakfast, yeah, but it's all and shot they like all it's run gross up face. there. It's all shot like she's it's got shot gross like it's face. gross face, and it does make oh. sense later because it shows her because Tommy gets a little fucking Snoopy. Well, yeah, she's got the stars on her head, but I wouldn't be. I'd be like, huh? The fuck is that? Not oh. that's what she did. Oh. She like we're I mean, it's fucking horrifying. And you go in there, is and it? they're like. Let's just cover this up. Hmm, is it horrifying? Dude. If somebody no, had, no, no. if a dead, I would be like, oh, no, she's dead. Also, where's that stuff? Like those stars. That's kind of weird. I wouldn't be like, ah, the horror. Because it's gross. They're having gross face reaction. She does not yeah. have gross face. She's just got some stars on her forehead. I'd like, probably poke at it. Yeah. See if it made like. Oh, yeah. Try different like little patterns. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna burn a question. Okay. Are the shitwalks jukebox heroes? Uh, no, because they put stars in people's eyes. Um, they might be because Trumpy is going to later play the world's shittiest bossa nova out of a Simon machine. Trumpy is about as good as Foreigner, so mm, <laughs> I mean, you be the judge. <laughs> They're shitbox heroes. <laughs> shitbox heroes. Okay, so uh. Uh, let's see here. Trumpy is looking at Tommy Zoo, and the kitty. The ki- The kitty loves the, his face. It's it's eating Trumpy's it's face. Eating Trumpy's face. I don't know if the byproduct of what they use to make Trumpy's face is delicious to kitty cats, or if they intentionally put like something that like cat food or peanut butter or something the cat that cat is mowing down on Trumpy. Mm-hmm. And so Tommy comes in. It's like, hey, Trumpy, um, are you bored? Uh, let's play a game. Let's do this puzzle. Let's do Simon. And then Trumpy proceeds to demonstrate his star powers and uh, makes his little music and fucks up Tommy's And he does good. have stars in his eyes. He is a shitbox hero. It's true. It's true. Because he is, his eyes do light up mm-hmm. like stars. Mm-hmm. Yep. All his clothes are being pranced around like they're alive in his shoes and Tommy's like oh boy I'm gonna get in trouble for having a messy room again Uncle Bill's gonna come here and hit me in the face with the butt of his rifle (laughs) (laughs) 
my god. Again. It's you know, nice to he doesn't seem like that's ever happened to him before. <laughs> I I moved here with mom and this was his masturbatorium earlier and now it's a messy masturbatorium because my clothes are everywhere and every time that's the case, it hits me in the face with the butt of his rifle. <laughs> Just gets grumbly and then goes down to the bar two towns over and drinks with the poachers and the rangers at the same place. Well, you'd say that, Sam, but he can't do that because the road's always bad. Not the road to the bar. That one's always open. (laughs) Whenever there's four chicks in his house, the roads are all closed. (laughs) Except for the one to the bar. You chicks want to go to the bar? Uh, Our friend just died. Uh, We'll take her. (laughs) We'll bring her along. (laughs) Seen Weekend of Birdies? That hasn't come out yet, so let's uh, let's do it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, Dad, Uncle Bill, and Brian, uh, they're they're gonna go out in the jeep um, to go to the ranger station, I guess, to use their radio or something. And uh, then they they get there. Well, actually, did you notice of, yeah, a bunch of stuff happens in between? Th- this is a Nissan Patrol. Oh, I thought it was which a at Jeep. the time was a Datsun Patrol, but they had already started because they're not going to badge everything as Nissan until 1984, which is after this had been shot. I thought this was a Jeep Renegade. Nope, it's a Nissan Patrol, which would eventually become the Nissan Pathfinder stateside, mm-hmm. but it's basically just their answer to the Jimny. Oh, okay, the Datsun's Jeep version. It's cool, kind of cool car. Um. Let's see here. What's going on here? Tommy's like, oh, do you have ET phone home thingy thingy? Look into this telescope. You can show me your planet. He looks into it. And he can see fucking Africa. Trumpy misses the rains down in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're from Africa, Trumpy. Oh, huh, that's interesting. I, I wouldn't have guessed that. Like what part? The Serengeti or like Jonestown or... Where is Mount? <laughs> Which translates to, I don't know how to work telescopes. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, Mom investigates. And uh, what, what's all that noise up there, Tommy? Uh, you better come downstairs so Trumpy's by himself. Uh, and that's when we find out the radio's broken. Well, Trumpy, in between all that, has gone MIA. He has disappeared and Tommy's like, oh, no, I got to look for him. He's nowhere to be found. And Bill and Brian, they get to the cabin and they find Grizzly Adams. He's got stars on his head. Which, also, this and he's cabin in is, bed. He's in bed. This ranger station is definitely a TARDIS as well, oh, because you, they go big. into it's it and big. it's way too big. And then it has a second room. And I'm right. like, there's nowhere for a second room to be. No, it's like four feet by eight feet yep and uh i guess the shit walk bonked him at some point and then was nice enough to carry him over to the ranger station and set him in a comfy bed and then gave him the stars on his head and left like and then just starts hanging out in there the oh yeah he's in there isn't he yeah that's true he he's there and he bonks uh brian brian gets dead just yeah. from being Un- Uncle Bill's like, just have to be faster than you, Brian. Yep. Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and meanwhile, back at the cabin or back at the refuge, Tracy is still horny, even though there's a dead lady in the room next to her. She's like, oh, Rangers. Did you say Rangers? Maybe the Rangers will like me because I'm, you know, ooh, I better go put on makeup out in the motorhome. Hubba hubba. And she goes out to the, and there's a fuck, the shit walks there too, or is there a different shit walk? Because that seems like that shit walk moved That's pretty fast. That's the same one because it's got the arrow sticking out of it. So okay. it beats up Uncle Bill's Nissan patrol and cuts his face, but doesn't kill him. And then teleports to the RV uh-huh. faster than Uncle Bill can drive back. Yeah. And she's dead from, she doesn't get bonged. She just gets like pushed out of the RV. Ah, it falls on her back and she's dead. <laughs> yep. I was surprised she's dead, but anyways, uh, Uncle Bill shows up and he's got a shotgun. He's like, God damn it. You get out of here. God damn. She walk and starts blasting up the forest. He hits it in the, he hits it once. You think? Yeah. He hits it once. And then he's going to hit it like this. I, I tried to keep a count of how many shots this thing took this time. Hmm. Um, 
And I think it's a 30-30 and not a shotgun. Okay. It's a lever action gun of some sort. Yeah. Well, it's out of there. So they're like, well, we can't make it out of here. We got to batten down the house for the night. The roads are too shitty again. Now I'm down to two hot chicks. Dang it. Dropping like flies. I got to get this done, said Uncle Bill. Mm-hmm. Uh, Billy, or Tommy, whatever your name is, uh, you go start boarding up the doors with your mom. Hey, Rick, uh, maybe you could uh, uh, get the drinks ready for tonight. And uh, Molly, go ahead and put Kathy on a heat rock just in case. Yeah, just keep that one warm. Just in case. Can't tell if she's dead or not. Yeah. Just looks weird. Yeah, she got stars on her head. But dead people don't have stars on her head. I'm sure I could have sex with her. <laughs> uh, and Rick, he's like, oh, no way, dude. I'm not making drinks tonight. I got your gun. It blows up the freaking drink pitcher. What a douchebag. What a douchebag. You ever used and then gun Molly rip? comes in and she's no. like, what the fuck's going on in here? And he and, and Uncle Bill's like, that guy's a douchebag. And he, Rick walks well, off. And Rick goes, I don't like people telling me what to no, do. He bugging says, me. I don't like anyone bugging, bugging me. So I'll shoot up their own bar with their own firearms. Yep. Nice. So Trumpy's back in Tommy's room. And uh, Trumpy's like, hey, I watched you... Uh, in an RV, uh, toss a lady around inside of it and then push her out and she now she's dead. And Trumpy's like, oh, oh so you're saying it wasn't you? Oh, it wasn't you. Okay, there's another shit walk running around. Okay, so we got to get you out of here because these people are going to, they're going to shoot you and then they're probably going to cook you and eat you. And so they ha- hatch a plan to hide in the woods. Meanwhile, Kathy is awakens from her two day sleep and says, Hey, did Brian come back? No, I'm sure he's fine. Said Sharon. Okay. Well, instead of going downstairs and saying hi to Brian, uh, my boyfriend of six, six months, uh, I'm going to take a shower. Mm -hmm. And so she does. And then she gets Trumpy, but not by Trumpy. By the other shit walk that is the now the arrowed shit walk. He's inside the house. Inside, well, it teleported from a cabin to an RV. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Ben, that but I know Bill shoots it here. He's like, shit, goddamn, he's attacking my yeah. naked ladies. I don't like it. Shoots it, and it like so she gets bonked, and they carry her to the bed, and we know that she just got out of the shower and put a towel around her. And the way that Uncle Bill is positioned, he would have looked right at her vagina. I'm just goes, saying. That's too bad. <laughs> or is it too late? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Uncle Bill, you're gross. Uh, so uh, they're all going to go hunt it down. Um, and Bill and Rick leave. And chasing that, they go, oh, we got a blood trail now we can check for, which we never see the blood trail. We're not sure, but they're going to trace, trace, check it down anyways. They don't seem to bleed. No, not really. But Trumpy's back at the house. He's dressed up in Tommy's little costume that he got him to go outside and hide in the woods. And uh, Molly's like, get away from him, Tommy. Oh, no. And Tommy's like, you'll never shoot him. He's my best friend. He was a rock, and then he turned into an egg, and then he was a this poop guy, the snoot. And, and, uh, don't do it, Mom. He's another one of my pets that I will n- inevitably not feed, and he will die. Yeah. Also, Mom, my room smells terrible from all of the terrible. vermin poop. <laughs> <laughs> so he leaves, and Mom and Sharon, they chase after, and then Tommy runs into the evil shit walk, <clears throat> and... That evil shit walk is like, oh, oh, and Tommy's like, you're cool. You're just misunderstood. I'm your bro, he's, bro. He's he's apologizing on behalf of the human race. Yeah. And Trumpy and the arrowed shit walk are sort of working things out. But then uh, Uncle Bill's on him. Yeah, he shoots at it. But he gets judo chopped. Uncle Bill. I guess to he's death. dead. I guess he's dead. From it. He's yeah. he's dead. He yeah. judo tapped him in the belt. Mm. And that killed him. Okay. But then I guess Rick kills the evil shitwalk? 
The arrow arrow shit walk? Yeah. Plugs like, it. Got him enough? Three more times, so that thing took an arrow and five bullets to go down. And then manages to bury itself. No, it just turns into dust, like... Seemed like it sunk in the earth. A vampire or something. Okay. So I was watching this part, and I... I just, I don't know. I couldn't see it very well. So I asked Justin, I'm like, what just happened? It, like, Justin's like, it buried itself. It then it like, wasn't dead. It seemed like it was swallowed by the earth. Which would and then the imply earth just, Trumpy and earth then it powers. And it all the earth back just how it was, which implies right. telekinesis. So yeah. that's not dead yet. It's not dead yet. No, that's a good point, Sam. That thing's still out there. It just, it ninja burrowed. That's what it did. Yeah, it ninja burrowed. it did. It ninja burrowed with telekinesis. And mm-hmm. it's... Very hardy because it finally got tired of getting shot at five. Yeah, right. So maybe that's they're not teleporting; they're just ninja burrowing through the earth. That would make sense. Yeah, they're okay. That checks out. All right. So uh, then Tommy he says goodbye to to Trumpy, and uh, Trumpy's like, Arr! and he Tommy's like, you seen that movie Harry and the Hendersons? Well, that's what I'm doing to you right now. You stupid, you stupid Trumpy, and I hate you. I hate you. I never want to see you again, Trumpy. Get out of here. You suck. <laughs> He's like, I'll leave Cheer. then. And the whole time, Rick is watching them. Right? I'm like a creeper. Trumpy has a tear roll down his face, and then we pan away from him. And that's the end of the goddamn movie. Trumpy's just out in the fucking woods, man. He doesn't like, go home, Trumpy. Get on your spaceship and go to your planet. Oh, it's destroyed? Well, I that would have been information that would have been useful to me. Had I been able to decipher your language, I don't know that your planet got exploded and you have no home and you're the basically the ambassador of a, uh, a different species of intelligent life throughout the universe and we should probably like... Maybe take you to the president, or I don't know what we should do, but I'm just going to leave you here in the woods. Get out of here. I hate you, you stupid little fucker. (laughs) Said Tommy, the dipshit. (laughs) Trumpy's like, I've got cures for diseases, and I can propel your science into the future, but all just comes out. (laughs) Like he's freaking, like he's Kenny or something. Thanks, Trumpy and Tommy. We both fall off a ravine and break all your bodies and somebody drags you back to the house while puncturing all your vital organs. You suck. Both of you. Okay, questions. Does Rick's career ever take off? (laughs) Does he use this whole experience... With the shit walks well, to be like, uh, and all of my friends died on this trip, and it was just really tragic. And it was right after we finished recording the the idiot song, and you know I'm gonna dedicate them to this. And he uses the tragedy to catapult himself in his career. Sam, where are you at on Jesse's girl? I'm not a fan. It stinks. So, yeah, I think Idiot Control now sure. could open for Rick Springfield. And Chicks loved Rick Springfield, and Chicks love Rick from this movie, mm-hmm. as told by this movie. So, yeah, the Rick and Rick tour goes on, Jackie, absolutely. Okay, first question. Does Trumpy have any ability to survive the next 24 hours? Guess telekinesis. Is that going to get him food that he has the, to suck up his he can nose? Can eat anything? He has to suck it up his nose. Bugs. Bugs? Grubs. Bugs everywhere. Roots and berries. They can take an arrow and five bullets. Yeah, they are tough to kill. I guess that's true. But very hungry. Very hungry. Huge consumers. Do you think yeah, that if, they're if, eventually going to turn into Pubakas if they eat enough? Hmm. Okay, so the Pubaka is the more advanced phase of a shit walk. It's all mm-hmm. one race. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. If that's the if that's the case, are they going to take over the Earth? Isn't that what happens in Gilgamesh? One of the other Monster Bud movies is that it just kept eating too much and it got really huge. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe Gilgamesh is like the final form of a shit walk. Because Gilgamesh was also a poop monster. So 
Mm. What do shit walk shit? <laughs> it doesn't seem like they poop. They just use all of it. Yeah, just, just ingest everything, and there's no high, waste. High metabolism. High metabolism. Okay. There's no way they're not taking. There's such an advanced form of life, even though they're shit walks, that they're, they're going to just take over. So, do you have a theory of what happens to him? Is because clearly you think he's not going to die. Does he just live in the woods, and that's his thing? Or... No, I think they take over the earth. Okay, okay. They get real big. I think they eat a bunch earth. of shit in the woods. The one comes back out of the sand. They start mm-hmm. teaming up. They get bigger into pubakas, and then there's start laying eggs everywhere, and there's no fucking stopping them. Okay, all right. Does Tommy benefit from any of this, or is Tommy also just like they're no, like, he's, don't care about they you, Tommy? probably don't remember him after yeah. he was there for like two days. Yeah, right. I think that they eventually end up in a P.T. Barnum circus act. Okay. And they live off of the peanuts that the crowd throws at them. Yes. Okay. And that's part of their show is sucking peanuts right out of the air. And then they get... Throw peanuts, ladies and gentlemen, and watch the amazing shit walk suck them up through their trunks. And then they yep. get too big and then they take over the earth. Either way, it ends up yeah. they get too big, Jackie. So... Yeah, they they take over the earth. Anybody else? Dang it. Question. Is Sharon still alive at the end? Ooh, I think so. I think so. Yeah, she's, she made it. Just hanging out in the cabin. She's I like, think... oh, you guys are going monster hunting. Fuck that. No, she went with she went with Molly and Rick's still alive. So he's still got that problem to deal with. <laughs> Rick, I brought you soup. Oh, don't come in here, Sharon. <laughs> do Molly and Tommy, do I'm Molly like, no. and Tommy just like keep living at Uncle Bill's house yeah. like nothing ever happened? Refuge. Well, yeah. Okay. Because I mean, now they squatters, have to help yeah. raise Tommy. They. Well, I'm not talking about Uncle... Karen and Rick. They go on tour with Rick yeah, Springfield. Right. Right. No. Molly. It's just Molly and Tommy living at the refuge now. The 14-bedroom wildlife refuge on top of Black Butte. Mm -hmm. I give them two weeks and they starve to death. And then somebody, the rangers finally come back and they both have, they're just outside looking like Jack Nicholson Eh, at the end of The Shining. Just frozen. Tommy Sickles. Tommy Sickles. The rangers are fucking dead. There's probably like 10 Why were the rangers? Walks. We watched them drive away. There's probably away. 10 shit walks that we haven't seen yet. Oh, yeah. So right? like, there's a whole invasion. They're, they're like neighborhood cats. If you can see two, there's fucking 30. <laughs> and they got they got the rangers who were driving away in their Jeep. Yeah. Okay. Maybe there were shit walks in that Jeep driving away. We never saw any people driving away. No. We never saw them again. They didn't make it. <laughs> they're headed to Omaha. Problems. <coughs> gonna have to nuke Omaha, pres- Mr. President. There's there's shit walks everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it all starts. Uh, okay, Sam, question. That that was my okay. question yeah. was to take over the earth. Where is Trumpy on our worst monster bud list? You got uh Gilgamesh, as we pointed out, Munchie, uh Mac from Mac and Me, obviously. Uh, the uh, Spud Spencer Gene Gin, whatever you want to call him. Uh, Trumpy, I guess Trumpy takes over the Earth, so that's not great. For he Tommy. sucks. Trumpy sucks. Is he suck more like, than Munchie though? Munchie is more annoying, but I think Trumpy sucks more. Okay, Jackie. I mean, anybody can meet Mac and me. I hated Mac and me so much, so he's above Mac and me. Okay. But he's still at the bottom. <laughs> he's a little poop monster. Right. <laughs> he's a floater. Yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. He's floated up one level. Nice. Uh, final recommendations on Pod People. Sam. I guess. But if you haven't seen this episode of Mystery Science Theater, I think you should do it that way first. Really? Okay. Because that's one of the funniest. That's a top five episode. It is one of their funniest episodes. Yeah. Jackie. Uh, I'm kind of with Sam. I wish I would have seen this with uh, Mystery Science Theater instead of just watching the movie by itself. Because I think it just would have been funner 
for me. But then that little clip that we watched um, where they're singing the idiot song because we thought that it wasn't in the movie. Um, it was really hard to hear the movie itself. And so I don't know whether that was just a bad transfer or what, but um, I don't know. I'd probably watch it with Mystery Science Theater, but I wouldn't watch it by itself. Okay. All right. I would definitely watch it by itself. I like this movie. It stinks. Um, there is few movies that are worse than this, honestly. Like, this is a bad movie. Like, really I, bad. It's- it's really bad. Like it's so, it's so stupid. And like, I have a real hard time figuring out which is worse, Mac or me, or this. Yeah, and it doesn't know what it is. Like Mac and me, at least knows what it is. Does and, it? It spends yeah. a half hour at McDonald's. It doesn't well, know what yeah, it is. Well, it's a cash grab, Sam. That's what it is. This is like a uh, scary monster, and then <laughs> Trumpy fucking playing Simon. Uh, none of it works. None of it at all works together. It's just a mishmash of bad ideas and too many fingers getting into one pot. And, uh, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> I think it. I think it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> and, but, I, but I think, it, I think in a fun way. And it is the reason why it's one of the best mystery science theater movies is because, oh my God, this is a riffer. Um, take talent like that and put this in front of it and you're going to end up with a good episode. It's it, like, you don't even have to like riffing movies to be good at riffing this one because yeah. it is it is just every single line of dialogue is stupid. Every single action is stupid. None of it makes sense. All of it's intelligible, um, unintelligible. I like it. I think it's great. I think yeah. it's a great Sticker Bandits movie. So it's a yeah, for it's me. Def- definitely worth it without the M- MST3K, but that's just one of their best episodes. Yeah. Um, when this movie came out, on video shelves and then it got sold into TV rights and people had to like write for, uh, you know, you still have to do the video reviews in the newspaper and you have to do the uh, t- TV guide, had to do a review on it when it goes on TV. Right. Mm-hmm. At the time it came out, it was appreciated for how shitty it was. Yeah. Like there's reviews of when it's released going, this is probably the worst movie I've ever seen. You should watch it. I laughed my ass off. And think about how old it is. Like, I mean, we're so desensitized to a lot of this stuff because obviously Troll 2 just kind of took everything Mm -hmm. over after it was rediscovered. But like, this is 1980 and this is pre peanut butter solution. This is like everything in the 70s was like dumb action, you know, car chase movies and like that we like and they're stupid because it's just stunt heavy. Uh, uh, sometimes you got lasers and, and a little bit of Corman stuff going on, but there's a plot and it's tried to be thought out. It's all drive in cinema. This movie had no place. And it's one of the first movies that I can think of this early. That's this type of bad. Um, you know what I mean? Does that make any, I mean, yeah, you got the Ed Wood stuff that's way before this, obviously, but Ed Wood, Ed Wood was still trying to make cinema. This is just yeah. a fucking clusterfuck of people fucking up. Yeah. And it's early on in that PG, PG 13 takeover when you wanted all audiences. Yeah. And so it's an example of ineptitude on the front end of that sort of thing that didn't get, uh, derailed until around 2000 was it like house of a thousand corpses yeah, was the other one right. that was like you can actually make a rated r movie people it's okay yeah yeah uh okay there's your episode uh next week we are off because i will be in boise visiting sam and uh then driving across the country which i never said i was going to do again that's another story for another time uh but after that we come back and it will be sam's pick i'm not going anywhere for a long time i'm so sick of traveling Sam, I'm assuming you're in the same boat. Jackie, you're in the same boat. So we'll be doing podcasts. Oh, I would travel again. Oh. I'm traveling in October. I'm going to Florida. All right. Well, that's a couple months away. But it'll be Sam's pick, and I'm assuming you don't have anything. I actually think I'm going to stick on this um, uh, J.P. Simon train and do the... Oh. (laughs) Do the mic fucking up. I'm going to stay on the J.P. Simon train and do the superhero movie that he had. uh, Super Fantastic Man or something like that. It looks really terrible, and they did it for riff tracks. That would be interesting. Okay, all right, guys, have a great two weeks, and get to the chopper.